Alright, welcome back everybody here to your live coverage of the Revenge a Fanatic Raid called Open Dota 2 Cup which features a grand prize of 500 euro. My name is John Boberg and I'm here today with audio as my shoutcast co-caster. Um, welcome to Brokers once again, man. Thanks, man. Excited to be here yet again. It's yeah. like the next semi-final, right? This is and the second semi-final, we'll... yes, and then yeah, we will move into awesome. the grand finals. But uh, I'm very excited for this match. It's, it's a lot of professional and well-known players. Yeah, definitely. Like, the pool of players in this game is really good. And uh, it's like the mix-up after international that was kind of obvious. And some rumors maybe been, like, spoiled here or whatever. But I've been finding most IDs and stuff. And I'm going to go through them later. But Yeah. But we have, like, teams like Bulba, uh, Mikey, X-Mike... Um, yeah, just a lot of very well-known players, so this, this will yeah, be definitely. fun, for sure, and you'll see how the, those guy, guys are gonna do now, it's, uh, but anyhow, uh, let's focus on the game, um, we have sure. TC, or well, Team Shupa Cabras, <laughs> on the, um, Raiden side here, and then we have Slide on the Dire side, it's not Evil Geniuses, guys, I don't know what. Why they have that? Well, flag. it's Bulba in the captain slot, so he pro obviously put on the Evil wow. Genius flag to represent Raid Call, yeah. who is sponsoring this cup. All so. right, uh, yeah, that's that's pretty nice actually. Yeah, nice on him. and I really and like Raid picks, Call. Picks are actually ex escalating quite quickly. I'm just gonna run them through real quick if yeah, that's okay that. with you. Uh, Dire banned out with the. Oh wow. Okay. Uh, Dire first pick. They banned out Rubik, Morphing, Antimage. Pretty good bands. Definitely the, the two yeah. strongest carries in the meta game, and Rubik the most annoying mid hero. <laughs> and um, Radiant banned out Darkseer Invoker Naga. Lycan went for the pool and went in there. Oh, Left yeah. Rack Bounty. First pick on the other side, but who came second? You need to tell the audience. Ve Venomancer and Warlock. Yeah. Oh god. Warlock. This is gonna be fun to see. Definitely. Warlock. Actually, we did see him in this cup yesterday as well. I can't recall which team played him, but he was here and he lost horribly. <laughs> I was gonna well, throw that out there. <laughs> Warlock is extremely good with Venomancer. Extremely good with Lycan, because Lycan has a lot of damage. Yeah. And uh, giving up Lycan, you need to have a plan. And they're picking up Leshrick and Bounty, because Bounty is quite important in their strategy. And then comes Nature's Prophet as the last picker, or the third pick, so to speak. Yeah. before the next banning phase, but I'm interested to see what they do with this Warlock. And it's going to be really, really interesting who plays it as well. But, Indeed. Uh, yeah, they're banning out Split Push, which is really good with Broodmother, because with their picks right now, they maybe weren't able to handle the Brood if it was a pick from uh, the Shuka Shabras. Shuka Kye, whatever yeah, that name. name. Just, just say TC, man. <laughs> TC? Yeah, TC. Yeah, yeah Team C. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's team Shu Shukabras or not? Shuka. Yeah, I don't know. Shuka. Let's, let's leave it at that. <laughs> well, and themselves are banning out the team fight a little bit, like tide, a tide on top of the already slide lineup would have been uh, really horrific for them to fight in. So it's a good ban. Yeah. Right now, picks are gonna be interesting for the next two. Really interesting because um, we want to see what uh, Dire is like filling the lineup with. Yeah. I'm a little bit surprised that they picked up the Bounty Hunter so early. Do you it's understand? It's in their plan, man. It's in their plan against Lycan. Definitely there. I don't know 100% why, but they think it's a counter, or at least they want it against Lycan. Maybe yeah. they want to play really aggressive and grab a lot of kills with Track Gold. Who knows? Because that's a really viable strategy with Gondar or Bounty Hunter. True. I mean, it's like, I cannot understand how Bounty is a direct counter to Lycanthrope, but... Uh, the extra movement speed is good. Yeah, that, uh, that, that's of course true. is extremely good. And... Yeah, he has a yeah, good I burst guess, I guess we'll just have to let the game speak for itself and see exactly. what you're gonna do with this. Uh, that's of course very interesting, and we have had Broodmother and Chaos not banned out by uh, Slide now, and Tidehunter, as well as the Lone Druid banned out. Yeah, so Tanky Heroes banned out, that's yeah. nice to see. But um, just going through the plays real quick from uh, the Dire side that are Slide now. Uh, slide 1, 2, 3 is actually Bulba. Call okay. Miyazaki. Mi Misaki is actually Fluff from uh, Complexity. Uh, Slay Slaycell. I have no clue who it is. 
but uh, it's probably a smurf. Maybe from complexity. Like maybe. to mention out real quick is that this maybe is complexity with Bulba instead of Yeo. Because remember, remember now, Evil Genius yeah. has a hidden player is, who's like uh, 007, blah, blah, blah. Maybe it's Yeo, you know? Because Bulba maybe. has left the team and he's the team less and he's playing right here with complexity guys yeah they might fun. have just swapped guys like yeah exactly even genius is take Bo uh, um, sorry um yeah yeah and both by goes fair but we'll, ne we'll never know and ix so, mike obviously the stash everyone so basically knows. this could actually be complexity yes definitely and we have dugong who is another smurf i couldn't find anything any information about but this definitely a smurf account so it could definitely be a hidden pick and the juggernaut. I'm seeing this as a lineup as a pocket strategy and it's a really good one. Um, but uh, Dugong as Lazy might be smurfed from complexity. And real quick from the other side, my sleepyhead is of course Blitz. Everyone probably knows Blitz uh, as an American streamer, really quite famous. Yeah. EGM is from former Infused, uh, now Skåne, uh, Skåne's Elite. Oh, uh, All right. yeah, 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 yeah. It's I'm... Donny from Infused. Everybody kind of knows that guy, I think. Uh, Lost is kind of known to me, but he's been playing with this lineup, with this uh, Nick uh, for a while now. Mikey uh, is pretty famous as well, played with Quantic before, uh, say support. And the uh, OK Nirvana Buns is actually really interesting to me that it's Bleak from oh, former yeah, Absolute yeah, Legends. Bleak. Yes. Uh, he's probably playing with some he's delay, that's, though. He's a stand-in. No, no, but he's a North American player, so he doesn't have a... Oh, yeah, never mind me. I'm a, just being very down by his thoughts. Thought of Absolute Legends as a complete Aussie team. Yeah, same. Uh, but yeah. Uh, he's the only American player from the team, and he doesn't have delay, so... Maybe he's looking for a team, maybe joining these guys, or he's just a stand-in. Who knows, but... That's who just knows? the players, but... I, I believe he's looking for a team. It, is, it would make, make yeah, sense, that, since that. he's just uh, left Absolute Legends. Yeah, I um, agree. But I f I'm really pumped up for this game. It's like, it's like of course very well known players that you know how they play and stuff. But with new combinations, and that's so fun to see how they're gonna yeah. do. And this might be something for the future. Exactly. So I, and I'm the I'm pixies in... helps with it. So what? All... The pixies helps with it because it's so awesome yeah. to see warlock. Um... And I, I get the feeling that Slide is currently like going for some push pushing strategy. Yeah, they're definitely then, going a team fight push line. Yeah, you can see that uh, pretty convincing like Venomancer, Lycan Throw, Warlock with a heal, Juggernaut with a healing ward. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's, it feels like they're just going to be able to pump pump on push and just keep on going while yeah. um, TC is going to have to go back region, Leshrac runs out of mana and you, you name it. The worst part about it, you want to know what that is, Warlock is annoying. Warlock it's has annoying, bonds. Yes. He has bonds who, if you take damage, the rest of your team is going to take damage as well. Equals, they are having multiplied damage on that team. So you can never count out that they have a lot of extra damage with Warlock there. That's in the pool. true. And that, that's another thing. Like, we will see TC be forced to go back to the well. Because they will just drop in HP. They really need to get a mechanic up. I, I believe, I think, Nature's Prophet should go for Definitely a mech. A um, mech carry for... Oh. And Puck! Oh! Finishing off that lineup. That's, that's a team fight lineup right there that's, with a lot of That's gonna push. be so fun. Puck is a great hero in my opinion. Like, he does not exceed in the laning phase uh, so well, but his team fight is incredible. And when he gets that blink dagger, he can do very, very big plays. He's almost an unkillable hero. That's so good. Yeah. Uh, it just completes the entire lineup. I was thinking they needed some like some little. Mm in burst damage and Puck actually deals a lot of damage even though you don't think about it but it has silence, it has uh, hold, it has nukes and he has a lot of mobility and they needed that as well so it's gonna be interesting to see once again I have to say that I I'm really pumped up for this <laughs> come on TC just pick that last here so we can get this uh, going <laughs> yeah. what, what do you think they're going for now? they're gonna pick something tanky and if we don't pick something tanky they're gonna get ruined uh, they need a really beefy hero. I can tell you that yeah, that's much. True. I don't know what else to say. Uh, unless they're super farming the Leshrac, putting him on a Bloodstone, BKB, have a lot of fun type of thing. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hero indeed. Here we go. Made them. Oh, with... oh, just Th that's so ironic. You, you say they're gonna get ruined if they don't pick Tank, and they pick like Crystal Maid and one of the most squishy heroes ever. Well. They need to prove me wrong, man. Yeah, they definitely need to. That, that's it's, just so it's ironic. The hero, don't get me wrong. The hero's great. Yeah, uh, it is. And, uh, okay, we're gonna see Bulba Puck. He's been playing it before, I think, and he's pretty good at yeah. it. If, and uh, if I guess this right, 
If Juggernaut is picked up by Dugong, yeah. then that's a TC smurf. And we oh, all know yeah. how TC plays. Oh, I, I, I also have to say, like, I saw someone in the lobby named Havost1360 thir or something. It I was uh, Xbox 360. Like, it was just for fun. Like, a uh, pun intended on Xbox. Yeah, who, who was it? Who was it? What's the guy who's playing Venomonster right now? And that's uh, right. Slaysay. Slaysell. Oh, yeah. But uh, Ike's Mike taking Warlock wasn't really a big surprise to me. It was going to be Warlock or Venom for him. And then uh, having uh, the Dugong on uh, Juggernaut kind of tells me it might be TC. And then we're looking at a complex lineup here. But you never know. So, But um, the teams are rounded up. And they look really solid on both teams. Even though I think uh, Radiant lack a little bit of HP. And that might be a problem. True. Might uh, really be a huge but problem. as you said, they might go for that electric bloodstone tanky build. build. Yeah, you could see it. it. So he's gonna definitely farm. But I might. don't, I don't. Are you sure he's gonna farm? Because they have Crystal Maiden, of course, for supporting. But they kind of want a semi-support, like the fourth rule. And uh, um, to me, that's the electric. My honest opinion: they're playing a long lane Windrunner, playing yeah. a bounty Maiden bolt with a Fury and Forest and a electric mid. Mm, might sound right. crazy, but they might do it. Because I see that uh, Mr. Nirvana Bunch, who's bleak, is probably gonna go a long lane here with Windrunner since he already bought the Ring of Protection. Yeah, that, that is true. You're completely right. And I kinda know that Blitz mostly plays solo, so it's kinda personal knowledge that they're definitely gonna lane almost like that. There's gonna be like. Uh, Nature's Prophet, as I said before, he really needs that mechanics uh, fast so he can be everywhere. They Definitely. need to keep the HP up and be able to stand up against Slide's uh, crazy push. And crazy can't damage even... and push. Yeah. Uh, and once again, you can see the Raid Call logo up here. <laughs> I do already have it down here in the bottom right corner, but two Raid Call logos. Just to... Since they are sponsoring the cup, it's really nice. But this is not yeah. Evil Geniuses. This is just completely mixed American teams and so with yeah, some definitely. nice players. Actually, we could go over the players, I guess. Yeah, sure. You can take it away first. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not completely sure about uh, all of them. We have uh, Bleak playing the Windrunner here, named as Oko um, Nirvana Buns. That's Bleak for, for your information. And then we have Lust under Crystal Maiden. He's been nicking that name for quite a while. Uh, Mikey plays the Ganda or Banda Hunter. Uh, my Sleephead, who was that? It's Blitz. Oh yeah, it's Blitz. On this Leshrac, and then EGM, former Infused or Scorners Elite player. Uh, and he's on this Nature's Prophet. Yeah, That's and I can take the Dire, I presume. Yeah, sure. However, um, uh, this huh? Blade Fury, it's just sounding... <laughs> yeah, it's kind of <laughs> annoying to be up there. It is. I, but I'm gonna just open the menu of the players instead and leave there. We have Slide123, Bulba, former EG player. Uh, we have uh, Cold Misaki, known as Fluff and Stuff from uh, Complexity. Slicel, just Slicel for this game. Ix Mike 88 and Dugong. Um, rumors in my head running that Dugong is um, TC, but you never yeah, it know. It could be, it could be, definitely. And then Call Misaki. I always said it was Fluff and Stuff. Oh, you did, oh, like, sorry. <laughs> it's uh, fine. And of course, uh, X Mike as well. You did call him this also a American player. So just like a I lot agree. of American players here. Uh, yeah. I should say that Bleak. I kind of mixed him up since he played for Absolute Legends. I thought he was a uh, Austra yeah. uh, Australian player, but he's also yeah. from America. To remind you of that. That's fine. But the game is resumed, yeah. and we will have this going once again. This is the Revenge, sponsored by Fanatic and Raid Call. Um, we're in the semi-finals, we will jump into the grand finals right after this game. The winner here will go up against No Tide Hunter, a very, very good team. They played very convincingly in the last semi-final. Um, yep. And they will play for the 500 euro prize. We're seeing EGM doing one of the few little tricks I've had in my mind with Prophet. TPing yeah. really early and scouting out what the lanes are. That and is so really nice and smart. It's really nice, but the lanes... I read them wrong. EGM is going mid with Prophet. It's really good for them. Having a solo mid Prophet right here is yeah. uh, what you're gonna need. Like they're gonna need a bit of form on them, some good laning, and then just the TPing. But they're playing a carry Windrunner, or what can we call it? But they're gonna double lane, or actually tri lane top. I mean, with the Maiden and Leshrac as support. So I was calling Blitz's role wrong, actually. 
So or we might just see just win on the left here, and we see the left second crystal made and roam bot. The bounty hunter, but it looks like bounty hunter will be solo. This yeah, bounty hunter is definitely gonna be solo uh, yeah. in the bottom lane. I think Lycan here, which is uh, really good. Yeah, because, he's gonna uh, solo. That's interesting to see. That's not used too often, but uh, with those wolves, is of course great in the lane as well. Yeah, definitely. I would more presume that it is a better short laner, Lycan as a solo, but. Uh, it works long lane. Like he, yeah. he, he doesn't need much, and he farms really fast when he gets the level. So, but he's gonna be solo against a bounty hunter, here, and it's gonna be an even lane. It's all up to the skill of the both the players to of show course. what it's worth. And we're seeing an aggressive try against a juggernaut try lane with warlock. Let's see how this is going. Here's where the, I think the action is gonna be. They, it has to be action. I just have to comment the uh, EGM here in the middle lane of this nature's prophet has already picked up a ring of region, so I think it's going for that fast mech. And, uh, yeah, definitely as we fast mech. Um, and that's really nice to see. I, I like the choice. I really like it. Yeah, it doesn't help much with laning except a bit of region, but yeah, yeah, and it's fine. Prophet has a lot of base damage, so yeah. he can handle. He do, indeed, indeed. And there's another pause. Uh, just one sec coming out here from Bulba. That's Bulba. Why can't he just use the normal names? It would have been so much easier. Yeah, but, uh, this is to think of, but we already see a little bit of harassment up top here. Like fatal bombs linked to some creeps, dealing some damage. and Th That spell is actually very crazy if you think of it. Like, sure, yeah. Warlock is not seen much, but that spell is great. It's probably the best skill of entire Warlock, because that would be a lone reason to be an ultimate. That's how good fatal bombs is, in my opinion. Indeed. But you don't want to play Warlock because he's... He has so many weaknesses as a hero, because he lacks a lot, but the thing is, what he makes up for it is what they're going to prove here, or try to prove. Yeah. Like, <clears throat> actually we see him just putting some woods down here, sentry wood, because there's no wish I'm there, I just want to make sure that they can keep the division over this area. I believe you can see what I write. Yeah, I can like, uh, see. Paint. You can see where I write as well, probably. Yeah, uh, yeah I can. That's a nice circle. Uh, <laughs> but... Uh, that center ward, what do you, would you make out of this? Like, He wanted the center ward. Can you see pinks as well? Um, your pinks. Ah, uh, pink there. You can see them. No, I, guess. I can't see. Can but you they see wanted to see the, No, we can't no. see pinks. But there's right. a ward usually put here that actually blocks this creep camp and gives a lot of good vision oh. for an aggressive tri lane, yeah. etc. He wanted to counter it with this ward because it's really common to place the first one I mentioned, the, cent the obs ward. And uh, yeah, so. He didn't find a ward because they place it in the spawn, so it's just bad luck for Ix Mike that he didn't find a normal ward. So, but he probably needs to like take the pull, pull spawn uh, ward out soon if they wanna have any type of lane control. Cause yeah, really it's going to. back now. Because, uh, like as you said, this trial and you they cannot be aggressive. They really need to play by their tower. Uh, and they yeah. can't do that when there's a warder. Like, sure, I'm stating the obvious now, but uh, it's. It's just so crucial for them. Yeah, definitely. And we're seeing there that Lust is just taking the rune, giving a pocket disadvantage. Oh yeah, that's a nice play by him. He's just taking rune control when he can't do much up top because it's not a lot of action. I think um, that uh, TC, the team here, needs to play a little bit more on them. Like more harassment on Juggernaut because Juggernaut is actually getting XP. Oh, we're seeing Lust here. Oh, nice yeah. harassment. Yeah. This is what they need. This is like the pressure they need, so Juggernaut is not even going near to creep, because he can't. He exactly. shouldn't be allowed to. Uh, this is at 8 last hits, so he's got some kind of farm, but Windrunner up at 15 already, so doing a great job there. And Puck also having a pretty good time in this middle lane. Yeah, we're seeing bottom lane as well, that uh, Bounty Hunter is really out harassing Lycan, but at the same time Lycan is harassing <laughs> yeah. Bounty Hunter. So I was watching like uh, the Bounty Hunter, I saw him very low, and then you called that he was out harassing Lycan, but I was like, ah, because both are They're very both very harassing low. each other. Yeah, it's. <laughs> <laughs> we can't really say that both are out harassing each other, but oh. yeah, I get your point. Um, Bounty Hunter has brought a healing cell now, so we'll pop that, so it should be fine. Uh, the oh, same goes. Like, and yeah, <laughs> and he's got, he got the ring of region. That's too bad. Oh, the initiation on top lane. Oh, Let there's the first it. blood. Slay still taking a lot of damage. He's gonna fall as well. Windrunner gets that kill, and that's a one for one trade. But Slide got the first blood, and they're gonna have an X Mike, X Mike, X Mike. Where's the power oh. shot, Windrunner? That's bleak. That's bleak for you. Named nice, Blunts for some weird reason, but it's bleak. And 
two nice kills for TC. However, Slide got the first blood, so I believe they're gonna be fairly happy with that. I'm speaking of yeah, Slide. Like, it's a pretty decent trade for both teams. Well, the bun. Oh, no. Slide got the first blood, which is pretty good, but it's on a Venomancer. And they used the Juggernaut early level here on the Blaze Fury. So, that's a nice kill for them. Like, a first blood is a, is a first blood, you know, but it's a trade for two. Both supports dying. Well, it's not worth it. Not in the end, because you're no. losing two heroes, they're losing one. And exactly. the, it's a Venom monster who died as well, who got the gold put on. So It's an even trade in a way, but then again, you lost two. Exactly. It costs like, more XP. Bo both Venom as well as uh, Warlock, I believe they uh, ported back, so that's some gold. Yeah. So. <laughs> Uh, I get I get your point. It's uh, definitely not worth it, but at least they got the first blood. Else, it would have been a huge favor of uh, TC there. Yeah, definitely. We're seeing a snipe on Bleak taking the center. Oh my God, that's huge! Because that's what keeps the support oh, going yeah. on top lane. Oh yeah, I got that's... what you mean now. <laughs> yeah. I was like searching oh, for a center, gonna... but it was already yeah. dead. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He sniped it with a power shot. Yeah, he just loaded up and uh... took it, and that, that's a lot of XP. Yeah, and look at the well. bounce level. Uh, where is he? Uh, oh, there we go. Yeah, he's level four and soon level five. Wow. Uh, can you check the XP overall here? Just gotta find it. Yeah, there we go. Bond Hunter leading, and Windrunner. Yeah, he, she's uh, leading except the solo lane heroes. And uh, uh, exactly. And that's just how it should be when you're doing really well play. Cause yeah. you see the support a little bit lower XP <coughs> and stuff. It, it's cause they didn't catch that that small creep. Like she was in both the kills. And yeah. she's not a creep. Equals, she gets so much XP lead. Equals, the, she's gonna be such a huge partner in the lane now. That power shot is gonna be huge. Same is with like everything. It's gonna be super nice for Windrunner on the top lane. Yeah, so like she got both the kills as well. So sitting at 325 or well 24 gold per minute already. Got the 1k gold. So could you pick up the face boots if that's what you want to go for? What what do you think he'll pick up? Um, I think we're on the right here. Definitely should you just pick up the face boots, yeah. deal a lot of right click damage, and then you focus the support all the time. Uh, even if you get lucky or do it really well, you could focus on a juggernaut as well. But then again, you need either a lucky shackle into an initiation from left rack, um, or you need to chase him while he's blade furying. And I don't think that's the best trade. So it's easier to kill off the, both of these supports because they can. If he gets face boots, they can't even move up there. Then there will be food. They need to play like uh, from last game, and we played one. We casted wolves against uh, no TTB against. What's it now again? Um, no tide hunter. Yeah, no tide yeah. hunter. And we saw the absolute first game where we had S4 and Shadow Shaman. The positioning of that support needs to be on the dire side right here. They need to be really careful not to die yeah. at all. They need to not get caught out, and that's gonna give, actually slide an advantage if they don't die up top now exactly because uh, they've got an advantage already now true you're completely on the spot there uh, yeah. checking the other lanes we have lycanthropes it's at 21 last it's uh, bounty hunter is at 24 so it's very even in this lane and uh, I, I don't know yeah. who's gonna come out on top it's just gonna come down to who who will actually uh, yeah take the lane from now on because they are very even uh, and we do see that bounty hunter he's picked up a another set of tangos as well as another healing stuff he's purchasing a lot of uh, consumables so don't forget that we could check the net worth he's actually wait what lycanthrope what's up with his net worth well it's not the most uh, like worthwhile we're looking at because net worth right now shows his own only his gold which is 77. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, yeah, never mind me, I'm just being very, very dumb at the moment. He's got no real item, if you get what I mean. Like, he's yeah, got exactly. the masks and the ring. He has a lot of basic so. items, which is really good for him in laning, but... Uh, yeah. Mikey on Bounty is actually gathering a lot of inconsumables, but it's actually really good for him right now to be able to stay on that lane, get up some levels, and then just be able to roam on the map and get those kills, which is important, because if they don't get kills with his lineup, it's not going to look good for them in the mid-game, because what I thought when I discussed the top, as long as they survive top, remember, they're going to do really well. Yeah. So, And, and that's, that's what happened to TTB last game. They played with the Bounty Hunter, but did not really get much out of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, you saw what happened. They got out-carried, just bam. Yeah. And that's what uh, Slide can do here. They can just farm up so fast compared to Radiant. The only one who farms really fast is Nature's Prophet. 
and yeah, that's that. Yeah, so the ones I've done it because we've had a quite a lot of pauses now. Yeah, <laughs> when I do the interview, oh god. Uh, he's restarting, so he should be back very soon, I guess. Seems like a pretty old computer, if you ask me. <laughs> well, it seems to be a few issues. It's too bad that it is, but yeah, ah, it's just to deal with it. It's just. That was actually one very nice uh, thing about the international, in my in my opinion, because there were no pauses at all except one. I saw one pause, and that was for like fifteen seconds. <laughs> yeah, exactly, and it, it's that's just magical. And that's yeah, exactly. how it should be, but it was really really nice. To just you could just go there, watch Dota, and you didn't have to wait. There were all all always like stuff uh, going on. The analysis desk was really nice as well. Uh, I yeah, I'm, I really liked international. Like a lot of the players did say that Valve had put up a amazing event, but uh, from a viewer point of view, it was great as well. Exactly, and it's hard to do exactly that as this because it's so hard for players to uh, like at their homes and stuff. This not every, nothing is going to be perfect because it's over internet. And if you have it in LAN and stuff, it's going to be fine because everything is going to be the same. If you have a power shortage. It's going to be for everyone, not just you. And that's the problem why it's uh, hard sometimes to keep all the games running at exact same time and stuff. Yeah. And uh, it's no, so too bad uh, that we're in the chat. Uh, uh, D2 uh, UN uh, cast. Uh, the stream is not offline, like he, he says it's lagging or something. It's, it's lag. lag. It's just a restart Steam. stream. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna write to him because he's definitely not watching this. <laughs> uh, one second. Yeah. Well, there's not much happening, sadly. Like, game hasn't even started in a pace yet, so it's not actually much to discuss except that most lanes are quite even. And yeah. top lane is going into advantage of Radiant, but everything can happen, especially with the line type of lineup they have. Yeah. Well, and we see uh, Nature's Prophet uh, is definitely going for the mech. Like, that was pretty obvious before, but he's picked up the yeah. uh, recipe for the headrest. Me it's up and, within yeah. two minutes. That's I'm 100% sure of. If he doesn't really? die. Yep, two minutes. It's just uh, 600 gold left for a mech. Uh, yeah, you're right, and uh, that's gonna be huge. Like, he can just board in and support the trial so in, well. Give 250 HP to every single team member, and then everyone's gonna die. Yeah. Basically. Uh, and that's that's exactly like <laughs> I think he could do so much with it. It's like we saw in this uh, top uh, trial and like uh, TC they've got the um, kind of aggressive trial and I guess. Yeah. Uh, well, they do definitely have that, and I wondered this as well. What's going on? Uh, but anyhow, um, <clears throat> when they kind of go, if Slide ever gets a moment to like counter on and. Uh, Oh god, I lost the word. Um, oh, help me. <laughs> what do you mean? What, um, what they're gonna do? No, if they get, get the chance to... Um, oh you god, this is crazy. Like, turn... Yeah, turn around, that's the word. Mm -hmm. um, then of course, like, Nature's Prophet is just gonna port up there and the uh, TC can turn ah, back. Ah, exactly, yeah. And I've